Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel and welcome to another end of the year, beginning of the year video for me. And today we are going to talk about my 2020 empties. So both makeup empties, some skincare empties and also some body care empties that I kind of saved but I didn't save everything. So I'm just going to talk about those, those that I have. Um, and instead of doing this like normal, what, what I normally do is that I have my big bag of empties and then I just kind of pull them out and talk about them just randomly. Uh, instead of doing that, because I feel like I usually get very rambly in those videos and I feel like they are not maybe the most fun to watch. <laughs> uh, I'm doing it a little bit differently this year. Uh, so instead of kind of sitting here and like pulling out all of these empties, I have uh, like before this video I, I took pictures of all of my empties where I kind of divided them into categories and then I have kind of some, not stats, but like I have kind of some questions that I answer where like where we look at the picture. <laughs> I make no sense, like that, that made no sense. Um, but I think we should just get into it. Uh, as I said, I want to keep this a little bit of a shorter a video because I feel like empties videos are always so long and um, so let me just show you what I mean so first up I'm gonna move over here so that we can put up a picture uh, so here are all of my makeup empties for this year and there are definitely fewer this year than there were last year I can leave my like 2019 empties listed in my description box but there were definitely fewer empties this year and that is very like that is because of the pandemic like after or <laughs> because of the pandemic I've been working from home uh, a lot more than I did previously like I never used to work from home um, and then now it's like most days I work from home and so I have been wearing makeup less I have been wearing makeup working from home as well especially now the past like month or two months um, like after or like yeah, maybe something like that. Uh, so I have been wearing makeup, like working from home as well, but definitely not as much as I used to do it before. Like before I would wear makeup maybe like six or seven times a week. And this year, since March, I've been wearing makeup maybe twice a week. Uh, so that has definitely decreased. And that you can tell that from my empties because I don't have a lot of empties. And a lot of them are from the beginning of the year so I had already been working on them like last year um, but yeah so basically I used up three primers uh, two foundations two powders uh, one bronzer one blush one eyeliner uh, one brow gel two mascaras two lip glosses and one lipstick and I feel like um, I don't know how I did so well with primers and foundations but I think as I said I had been working on them um, like last year and then I got like January, February and then half of March like normal wear um, so I think that is why I was able to use them up because I don't think I have a lot of makeup empties like after March <laughs> which is sad um, but yeah so basically uh, those are like the stats those are, those are all of my makeup empties that I finished up this year and within this group like most of them are products that I feel so so about but if I have to mention some favorites uh, I do really like the lippy sticks uh, from Colpop I used one of those up and I would uh, or I, I really enjoyed using that up uh, it was a really nice shade um, I believe it was Cookie I will put it up on the screen if that was wrong um, but I really like that one I also enjoyed the Hoola bronzer I wouldn't buy it again because it's not cruelty free but I did uh, enjoy using that one I also kind of enjoyed using the Fenty foundation although I was kind of up and down with that one all the time and I think that kind of depended on what I used with it um, but it's definitely something that I will like or my kind of thoughts like after using up that foundation is that I kind of didn't kind of enjoyed it but it's not something that I would pick up again and then I also like the Ila Masca uh, primer but that is kind of the same like with the Fenty foundation I enjoyed it and like my feelings after using it up is that I did like it and I was happy to try it 
but it's not something that I would pick up again. And then the last thing that I also really enjoyed of those empties is the blush from Makeup Store. It was in the shade Peach and I just really enjoyed using that. It's like I think the Makeup Store blushes are really nice quality and the formula is really nice. Uh, I have one other in another shade that I'm looking forward to using um, or like I enjoy using that one as well. So that is something that I probably would pick up again and uh, not that exact shade probably maybe I don't I'm not sure <laughs> but that is something that is kind of on my radar if I ever feel like I need to pick up a blush but I don't I don't see myself having that need <laughs> in the near future so we'll see if I ever pick that up again um but I would so the only one like I, w uh, I did some notes before going into this video and the only one that I felt like I would repurchase is the lippy sticks maybe not in the exact shade but I do really like the lippy sticks and I feel like it's a really nice formula uh, and also format like I like the format of the lippy sticks so that is something that I would uh, consider picking up if I ever feel like I need to pick up a new lip product which I don't think I will so or I don't know we'll see and then the only product that I did not like uh, in this kind of setup, like most of them, as I said, I feel so so about, but there is one that I hated, and that is the Makeup Revolution Blowout Mascara. That was, I just, I hated that <laughs> mascara. It was too, I, like, I can't, now I, I can't remember it clearly, but I think it was too thin. It never dried. And it was just, the one was too big. I always got it on my, like, on my eyelid. And I usually don't have that problem. Um, so I just did not like that mascara. And I would never pick that up again. Um, so that is the only one that I did not like. So those were my makeup empties. If you want a more, like, in-depth review, you can ask me in the comments. And then I will, of course, give you um, my thoughts on any of these items. Moving on to skincare. So for skincare, I used up four cleansers, one micellar water, one makeup remover, three toners, five serums, seven uh, moisturizers, four eye creams, and two face masks. And I think, I don't know, I feel like I'm not as kind of rigorous with my skincare if I am not wearing makeup. So I think maybe my kind of skincare consumption might have decreased as well. Uh, like due to the fact that I haven't been wearing as much makeup. I'm not sure. I feel like I did pretty well um, this year. Like in when I'm looking at my empties. I don't know. You can tell me <laughs> if you feel like it's a lot or not that many. But I feel like I'm pretty happy with that amount. And so if I had to pick some favorites in this bunch. I would probably say the Makeup Revolution uh, Moisturizer. Because that has SPF 30 I believe. Uh, and I enjoy that that one is for the normal to dry skin, uh, which I enjoy. It's a very like easy, simple moisturizer, but I, I seldom feel like I need more from my moisturizers. Uh, so I did enjoy that one. I also like the Clinique Laser Beam, I think it's called, or Laser Repair Eye Cream. That had a very like creamy consistency, which I prefer in my eye cream, so I did like that one. I also really love the Origins makeup remover that is kind of, I think that's my favorite makeup remover but I haven't really bought a makeup remover after like using that up uh, or I started using one from Estee Lauder but that one is like back here um, in on one of these shelves and I put it there when I moved in and I haven't like touched it since so I don't, like I usually just cleanse my face, uh, I don't use those types of makeup removers that often um if i do i, I might use like a micellar water uh, or something like that but i wish origins was cruelty free because then i would probably pick it up immediately um but now i feel like it's a hassle to kind of find something else um but that is definitely my favorite uh, or one of my favorites uh, and then i also enjoy the pure and care a cleanser uh, just because it's cruelty free it's inexpensive it, it's very easy for me to get and it did a job like it's a foaming cleanser so I feel like I or it's that type of foaming cleanser that leaves your skin feeling very clean and like almost crisp and I really like that feeling because then it feels even better to go in with like a moisturizer or serum or something that kind of uh, I don't know it's just it just 
the whole routine feels like my skin is so clean and I really enjoy that feeling so I really like that cleanser and if I had to say which ones I would repurchase in this bunch I would probably repurchase the pure care cleanser if I ever need a new cleanser um, I might try some others um, but that is something that would kind of be on my radar if I'm in a pinch and I need a new cleanser I would probably also pick up the Lumini toner even though that was not my favorite because it's also very easy for me to get um, and like it's inexpensive, it's a drugstore, it's, uh, the price is a bit higher, like a tiny bit, it's like the higher end of drugstore but it's still like not super expensive so I would probably consider picking that up again. Um, and then also the Makeup Revolution moisturizer, I do really enjoy that and I think I might actually pick that up again uh, next year when I need um, more SPF because we don't have like in November we had like one hour of sun all throughout November and like it's almost the same in December so we don't have a lot of sun in Sweden in the winter so we don't really need um, SPF I know you're not supposed to say that I know you're supposed to always use SPF but like there is no sun I don't see the sun <laughs> the only things I did not like like I, I had a feeling of really not liking it was the Augustinius Bader the rich cream I just I did not like the consistency of that one it was thick and then it was kind of thin and then was, it's, it's just, just I don't know it's kind of weird to work with and then I did not like the Clinique toner because it smells so much like alcohol and that just does not feel good when you put it on your face and <laughs> for uh, for skincare I also added kind of a no on like over hype products because like the others in the bunch that I haven't talked about that are my favorites repurchased or I did not like and those I just kind of felt so so about like I wouldn't pick them up again but I didn't hate them but there are some products in here that I feel like are overhyped so the two that I added to this list is the Drunk Elephant Protein -y Moisturizer I just don't I didn't feel I feel no difference between that one and the makeup revolution one so I don't know why I would pay that much for a moisturizer it feels like I'm doing it just for the name and then also the glow recipe watermelon moisturizer it's way too thin for my personal preference and I feel like it's a, a really hyped product like a lot of people uh, I don't know I feel like there's a lot of marketing around this product and because of that it kind of feels overhyped and I just I would never pick that up because it's not a product that I enjoy like the formula I don't I don't enjoy gel type moisturizer so it's a personal preference but I just feel like it's very overhyped for body care I didn't really note anything down I really really like the scent of the rituals one but I think that was kind of a limited edition so I don't think you can get that scent anymore but I really liked it it's a body lotion and the others I just felt like they're fun and not something that I will be picking up probably but not something that I uh, like hated using either so yeah those are just kind of so so <laughs> and then the last one or last categories of empties is a perfume so I used up one perfume this year and this is the Dior Poison Girl perfume I really 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 like this perfume I think it smells really nice and I wish I could pick it up again but it's not cruelty free so I think I will be holding out, holding off on picking that up but it's a really really nice perfume and I wish I still had it but it was time to use it up it's just I wish I still had it in my collection and yeah that is basically it I think I did that pretty quickly semi quickly like quicker than it would have been if I had just gone through all of the empties uh, but as I said, if you want more of a review of any of the products, then uh, I can tell you more about it in the comments. If there is any that are like the lock size samples that you want to know more about, I will. I have probably mentioned it in one of my sa sample size blitz updates, uh, so you can go check those out. But yeah, that is going to be it for my uh, 2020 empties and. Please give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Please consider subscribing if you haven't already. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next one. Bye!